welcome you once again to the another session of english class in this session last class already we have covered part 1 the chapter is a hero chapter is a hero part 1 already we have covered today we will cover part 2 in part 1 we knew the story the swami is a small boy and he had a father the father was a lawyer and father read the newspaper he knew the village lad and tiger village lad and tiger lad a village lad and tiger story and he encouraged his son if you have the courage you for the strength if you have courage can you sleep alone in my office room listening that the swami the son frightened and became fearful then story proceed you listen part 2 swami swami sat sat gazing gloomily at the newspaper on his lap swami sat swami sat was reading the newspaper swami sat sat gazing gloomily at the newspaper on his lap gazing means look fixedly look gazing means look fixedly gazing look fixedly swami sat was gazing gloomily gloomily means in an unhappy way on happiness swami sat was reading the newspaper with attentively in an unhappy way to on his lap lap means you know a flat area between waist and knee a flat area between your waist and knee a flat area is a flat area between waist and knee you know you see the picture on his lap swami father was reading the newspaper and he holding the paper on his lap swami prayed that in that moment swami prayed that his father might lift the newspaper once again to his face so that he might sleep away to his bed and fall asleep before he could be called again swami is very clever clever when father gave and ordered him to sleep in the office room alone he became frightened so in order to avoid in order to uh, escape from his father's uh, presence swami a prayer to god that if the father might leave the newspaper once again the reading reading the newspaper position posture is like that way if the father will read the newspaper and taking it to his cover his face like that way prayer that his father might leave the newspaper once again to his face so that in that moment he will sleep away he will go away sleep away to the bedroom to his bed and fall asleep fall asleep means deep sleep fall asleep before he could be called again before calling his father he could he could or he can asleep beside the granny father not get the chance to call him again and as he in answer to his prayer he prayed to god imagine he prayed to god and as he in answer to his prayer immediately father rustled the paper newspaper and held it up before his face when he was thinking the swami in that moment the father took the newspaper and covered his face as if to as if in answer to his prayer father rustled the newspaper and held it up before held it up before his face and swami rose silently in that moments in that moment immediately swami rose silently stood up silently and tip toed away to his bed in the passage swami was sleeping beside the granny uh, crossing the passage crossing the passage swami rose silently and tip toed tip toed means tip toed means okay tip toed means uh, a walk on the front foot like that question walk on the you see the picture tip toed
This is the tiptoe picture. Swami rose silently and tiptoed away to his bed in the passage. Granny was sitting up in her bed. At that moment, Gan was perhaps Gan was waiting for his grandson. Gan was sitting up in her bed and he remarked and told something to oh, Swami. Boy, are you already feeling sleepy? The boy, do you uh, feel sleepy or drowsy? Do you feel drowsy? Don't don't you want to hear a story? Don't you want to hear a story? Swami made a wide gesticulation. To silence his agony. There are two words. You remember, there is gesticulation. Gesticulation, not gesticulation, gesticulation, gesture. Uh, gesture means movements of hands and arms. Movements of hands and arms. Movements of hands and arms to express the feelings. Suppose, uh, example of a gesture. This is, this is the victory. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. There are several gestures are there. You see the uh, various gesture in the picture. Now you see a market gesture. And posture. Another one is posture. Another one is posture. P O. Okay. Gesture and posture. The difference. The gesture means the movements of the hands and arms to express the feelings. But posture is uh, on way you stand or sit or walk. Suppose I stood like that way. This is the posture. This is the posture. On way you stand, walk or sit. This is called posture. Uh, uh, gesture means movements of hands and arms. Suppose I call you to come here. Come here. This is a come here. I know that. My head. I am denying, I am not agree. No, no, no. It is, yes. These are the uh, gestures. Swami made a wide gesticulation to silence the granny. Swami, uh, by his gesture, wanted to make the, his grandmother silent, silence and but the good lady saw nothing. Granny gave the symbol, but granny saw nothing. So Swami threw himself on his bed and put the blanket over his face. Swami took the blanket and covered his entire face. Blanket means, here, blanket means a piece of woolen material. A piece of woolen material covering the bed for warmth. For warmth. Okay? Okay? Take That's okay, sir. And blanket. Blanket. Granny told. Granny told. Grandmother told. Don't cover your face. Boy, don't cover your face. Are you really very sleepy? Grandmother put the question. Are you really very sleepy? Swami leaned over and whispered. Listening to grandmother, Swami leaned over. Lint over means, lint over, lint over means bear from a vertical position. This is the vertical. This is the horizontal. The vertical. Vertical. Swami lint over. Swami, Swami lint over the grandmother, over grandmother, and told, and whisper. Whisper means he spoke in a very low voice, very soft voice. Very low voice, Swami leaned over and whispered, Please, please shut up. Please shut up, Granny. Don't talk to me. Don't talk with me. And don't let anyone call me, even the house is in fire. Grandmother, don't talk to me. And even don't even don't call me if the house is on fire. If I don't sleep at once, if I have not sleep at that moment. Perhaps I shall die. He turned over and called and snored under the blanket till he found his blanket pulled away. Saying this, immediately he turned over, he turned over the bed 
and the cord and the snort. Cord means cord means cord or spiral shape. While sleeping on the bed, he made the posture like a cord. Okay, cord or spiral, spiral shape. The sleeping position, shape and snort. Snort means grunting sound while sleeping. You know. You must have remarked uh, in your house, in your our father, mother, grandmother, grandfather, while sleeping, they make one type of sound. Okay? The grunting sound. The grunting sound while sleeping. This is called snore. Snore. Father was standing. The father was standing over him. In that moment, the father came. And father was listening that. The statement of the uh, Swami. Father was standing over him. Standing over means watch closely. Standing over means watch closely. Standing over. Father was looking very closely. And Swami, Swami, Father gave the order, Swami, you get up on the bed, you get up on the bed, she said, and he looked like an apparition, apparition in the semi darkness of the passage. Swami thought the father was looking at him like a Apparition of apparition in the semi darkness. The room was not full darkness, semi darkness. And apparition means a ghost like figure. Apparition means a ghost like figure. A ghost like figure. The room of semi darkness, in the darkness of semi darkness, we see everything not clearly. Not clearly, you see, you see everything. So, Swami thought. The father's figure like a, a, a ghost like a figure in the semi darkness in the path of the passage, which was a dimly lit. The passage was lighted dimly, okay, dimly, and the light reaching the air from the hall lamp. From the hall lamp, the passage was uh, dimly lit. Swami stared and groaned as if in sleep. Swami Made the action. Swami made the action. Swami stood and groaned. Groaned means a sound of pain. Groaned means sound of pain. Swami stood and groaned. Ajip in sleep. Swami made the action like that way. Ajip in deep sleep. Father said, Swami, I get up. Nani. That, listening that, Rani, that means grandmother, told, Why do you disturb him? Why, disturb him? Why do you disturb him? Swami slept, you don't disturb him. Pleated means, pleated means, groan means sound of pain. Pleated means, a, make an emotional appeal. Pleated means, pleated. Pleated means, make an emotional Make an emotional appeal. Granny pleaded, Why do you disturb him? Granny, here, Granny make an emotional appeal to the son. That means, Swami's father. Granny, the grandmother, made an emotional appeal to Swami's father. Or, grandmother made an appeal to Swami's father that, Why do you disturb him? The small boy, this was the small boy. But Swami's father told, got up Swami, he said for the fourth time, Swami, you got up. Father rolled up his bed, Swami got up, then father rolled up his bed and under his arms and kept it under his arms, under his arms and come with me. And father told, you follow me. Swami looked at Danny. And he hesitated for a moment. When father rolled up the bed, Swami waited for a few minutes and hesitated to go there and looked at Gani if Gani will request him and giving the, uh, will give the instruction to his father, no, the baby, the boy will sleep here. But the Granny, 
didn't say anything. So Swami looked at Gani and he hesitated for a moment. Hesitated means make a pause in decision while saying. Make a pause. Swami make a pause. Uh, Look at Gani and he hesitated for a moment and followed his father into his office room. On the way, he threw a look up and when going to the office room, he saw his mother. And he, on the way, he threw a look of appeal to his mother. He saw his mother and looked in such a way and that the mother will request his father not to go to sleep in the office room. Let him, uh, let him, not to, let him, let him allow not to go there. Uh, look of appeal. Look of appeal means Heart felt request. Look of appeal means heart felt request. Heart felt request. Okay. Request. Why do you take him to the office room? The mother told. Why do, why do you take to the take him to the office room? He can sleep in the hall. I think the mother told he can sleep in the hall. Don't take to the office room. But father told. I don't think so. Swami walked behind him slowly with a bold head. Bold head means bending head. Bending his head, Swami followed to his father. Then, father, then Swami told, Let me sleep in the hall, father. Swami pleaded. Swami told, Father, allow me to sleep in the hall because your office room is very dirty and dusty. There may be scorpions behind your law books. Scorpions. Scorpion means an insect has a long body and curved and curved tail, curved tail and curved tail with a poisonous sting. You see the picture of scorpions. Then the scorpions behind your law books. Law books here indicate that his father is an advocate, lawyer. Law books. Father told, there are no scorpions, little fellow. There are no scorpions, little fellow. Sleep on the bed if you like. Little fellow means, you which we use fellow to describe the people. Maybe a man or boy. You use fellow to describe the people. Little fellow, sleep on the bench if you like. Can I have a lamp burning in the room? Some put the question. May I uh, a lamp burning in the room? No, you must not learn to be afraid of darkness. Father told no, 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 you are not allowed. Don't fear about the darkness. You make cultivate, you make practice to sleep in the darkness. It is the only question of a habit. You make a habit, then your fearness will be removed. You must cultivate good habits. You know, cultivate sense is what? The meaning is Try to develop skills. But if you want to make a noun, cultivation, if you put the question, what is the profession of your father? If uh, anybody is his father is farmer, sir, my father's profession is uh, cultivation. Cultivation means related to the agriculture. But in, 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 in sense of how, cultivate, try to develop the skills. Will you at least leave the door open? Then, uh, Swami put the question, will uh, father allow him? Yes, we can open the door, you can sleep here. All right. All right. Father told, okay, all right. But promise, make the declaration. You promise, you will not roll up your bed at midnight and go to your granny's side at night. You are not allowed, you don't go at midnight, at night, don't go to sleep beside the granny. If you do it, mind remember, if you do it, you remember, I will make you laughing stop your school. I will make you joke. I will make ridicule among your students. Listen to that, Swami fell caught up from the humanity. Humanity. Humanity means entire human race. Humanity means entire human race. Swami caught up from the humanity. He was pale and angry. He was pale and angry. 
He did it lack the strength cruelty. He saw in Adas nature. Cruelty. Cruelty means the behaviors which causes physical or mental harm. Cruelty. He hated the newspaper for printing the tiger story. He disliked. Hatred means dislike. He disliked the newspaper printing the story of tiger episode. He wished. That the tiger had not spared the boy. Spear means refrain from killing. If the tiger had not, if the tiger had killed the boy, the boy, the matter was not like that. He was not forced to sleep in the office room. He was wish that the tiger had not spared the boy who didn't appear to be a boy after a monster. Monster. So, if the tiger had killed the boy, the story was not like that. There is no question of courage, bravery, a coward, and a father will not give the permission to come to the sleep in the office room. So, monster means an abnormal boy. And lastly, I am giving some homework to you. Okay? Homework. I am giving you PDF file. Okay? Instruction is. Turn the following sentence into noun or derivative words. Derivative. Suppose cultivate. Call the bread. It is verb. Make a noun. Cultivation. Cultivation. Okay. This is cultivation. Another word is suppose straw. Eh, sorry. Straw. Yes. Straw. Straw. The noun form is. Yes. I have given a PDF file, you complete and send to me.